Hello, everyone. I'm Rob Paternostro, head coach of the Leicester Riders basketball team. Hope everyone's doing well. Just wanted to give you a little bit of my story today and how I got involved in professional sports. Uh, obviously, started playing at a young age, all sports. Uh, I grew up in Connecticut, which is Waterbury, Connecticut, which was about an hour from New York City. I uh, did everything I possibly could to be outside playing sports. Uh, you know, my dad was involved in baseball, so baseball was very important to me, but played baseball, American football, uh, soccer, as we call it in the States, basketball, uh, did everything, tennis, swimming. So, you know, that was uh, my passion growing up. And um, when I got to high school, you know, I played three sports on the varsity team. I played uh, basketball, baseball, and soccer. I had to make a choice when I went to university on whether or not I was going to play basketball or baseball, and I chose basketball. I went to Southern New Hampshire University for four years. Had an enjoyable time there. I think the most important thing was to, to get the education. I got my degree. Uh, that was important. Uh, but then also winning basketball games. You know, I think whenever you go to a program and you win, uh, it's um, it's better for everyone. So we had a great, great four years, 107 wins, 24 losses. So I played very well in, in, in a lot of games and was named All-American, had a lot of accolades. And, you know, then I had to make a decision on what I wanted to do next when I got out of university. When I got out, I had an agent and the agent... Um, got me my first professional contract. I played professional basketball for 13 seasons. I played in many different countries, Italy, Greece, Spain, Austria, France, Belgium, and England. And I played in England in 2000. I came here and played for the Birmingham Bullets in Birmingham and eventually uh, ended up playing for the Leicester Riders at the end of my career. When I finished playing, I got a phone call from the riders uh, to ask me if I would like to interview for the coaching position. And um, the rest is history, really. It's been 14 seasons, including this one. Um, you know, when we first started, we didn't have our own arena. We have our own arena now. Our fan base continues to grow. Have you guys been to the Morningside Arena? Hopefully um, you can get down there if you haven't, because uh, game night is uh, always electric. The atmosphere is great. And, um, you know, it's uh, something that we're proud of. And, uh, you know, uh, we've brought a lot of trophies to the city, you know, uh, 15 trophies uh, since uh, we arrived in, uh, 14 seasons ago. So, um, yeah, exciting times down there. I've also had the opportunity to work in the media. Uh, I, you know, as a child, I, I dreamed of being a baseball broadcaster. Uh, but when I went to university, I ended up doing a work placement at a television station, WMUR-TV in Manchester, New Hampshire. I had my own show, which was fun. And um, I also ended up working at ESPN for a year. From 99 to 2000, I took a break from playing professional basketball, and I worked at ESPN, uh, which is obviously a, a big television network for sports in the U.S., and um, that was uh, an incredible experience that I'll never forget working there. I've worked for the BBC, done some NBA games for them. I've worked for Sky Sports, NBA games for them. So, you know, combining the coaching, playing, and also in the media, uh, I have been uh, very fortunate to have uh, a lot of great opportunities to work in sport. So good luck to everybody. And I hope you guys are having a, a great year. And I hope to see you down at the Morningside Arena soon.